Hello, hot-blooded tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV DS with me, Blue Ankylo. So, last episode we didn't accomplish a whole lot. I spent a lot of time grinding unsuccessfully, but we're in the next area. We're underground, our airship's broken, and we're gonna explore a new castle. But first I thought we'd have a look at what people have to think. So, Cecil feels like it's too hot. I agree. Sid, he just wants to fix his Enterprise. Kane is just worried about Rosa. Everyone's worried about Rosa these days. Rosa is definitely not enjoying the heat. So at least I was correct when I said it would be hot down here. They're all cooking to death. And then finally Yang. Well, the enemy is already here. He's just worried about enemies, so you know how it is. Anyway, Lally Ho, folks. Welcome to the Dwarven Castle. Hey, guys. Lally Ho, indeed. Castle of Dwarves. All right. Dwarves are cool. Right. Do you have any fortresses down here? How do you know about Golbez? And how... Do... We're not vile just because we have, we have a paladin leading the squad. <laughs> Don't go to Giot right away, guys. Take your time. Oh, hello, little girl. Hello, Luca. Oh, no. I'm, sh <laughs> I'm sure that doesn't mean anything. Don't worry about it, guys. Traditional dwarven greeting. Lally ho. Hi ho. Hi ho. One, two, three, lally ho. Alright. Well, we could speak to him, I guess. Our airship is quite broken. Come on, let me up there. I think that's like the weapon shop or something. <laughs> I'd love to go shopping. Glad to see you survived that fall. Were you guys just watching me crash land? Alright, found the inn, that's good. Highly complex make. <laughs> how will we ever understand how to use dwarven weapons? Well, we'll see. So they charge a lot of money down here. 600 gil to rest. I think the other inns we've seen have been like 50 or 100. So it's pretty steep down here in the underworld. Inflation's taking hold. <laughs> Alright. Welcome. What can we buy? Sundries? Ah, uh, nothing that important. What have you got? Normal stuff. Um, we don't have very many crosses. Okay, we'll pick some of these up. Just in case we get cursed. Remedies cure everything. Pick up a few of those. Cottages are good. There we go. There we go. Nice supply of sundries. Let me go this way. Oh, come on. Let me go to the weapon shop. They're just blocking me off from the weapon shop, basically. How about, can I go to the roof? No, of course not. The roof is very important as well. Well, at least they let you rest. So, um, spoiler, small spoiler alert. Make sure you've saved, because, uh, whether you save slot or normal save, it's a fairly difficult battle coming up. I remember having a very difficult time with it as a kid. And, uh, I don't know about you guys, but it sure sucks when you have to restart. Hey, Dwarven King. Yeah, we survived. What's your name? Giot, ruler of the underworld. All right, you're kind of like Hades. And uh, the dark crystals, are they truly down here? Yeah, everyone just wants your crystals. Well, no, the others did shoot us down. Unless it was you guys that shot us down. Yeah. I mean, how would they tell the difference between one airship and another airship? They've never even seen them before. And would they really call the air above them, the sky, because, like, really there's a roof to the caverns. I don't know if sky is the correct word for that. Are the crystals safe? Kane, straight to business. Well, would I, could, would, would that I could say, you've already lost two. You've lost half your crystals already. Great. So there's one in the castle at least. That's good. Tank battalion. Awesome. I want a tank battalion. Of course they were. Dwarves make tanks. Totally makes sense. Yeah, the surface has, like, airships. Kind of crazy. Yeah, I would say having the advantage of the air is probably better than the, the ground advantage for this kind of battle. Yeah, you can have our destroyed grounded airship. Yeah, she needs repairs. Sure. Thanks, King Giot. Very nice guy. 
Should be able to fix her, but she's not ready for all that heat. Well, how would the Red Wings airships be built for heat either? You know, it should be this even playing ground. Need to fly her to the surface and rig together some mithril plating. You know, Geot probably has some mithril. Dwarves are pretty good with mining. I mean, I don't mean to stereotype them, but... So, um, Sid, by the way, you're going to the surface to get some mithril? How? Are you going to sprout wings and fly? You kids wait here. I can't get to the surface, but Sid can. Oh, everybody loves Sid. I don't understand how he gets to the surface, but he does. It's one of the inevitable plot holes as far as I'm concerned. So yeah, where is this crystal? Hidden chamber behind the throne. Good. You've got a hidden secret chamber, and then you tell the first person that asks where it is. Um, the music stopped. Yang, what's going on? Someone is eavesdropping. What? So now that you've explained where the secret, super secret crystals are, someone's heard. Oh good, Yang feels a presence. Yes, Lally. Now, of course, if they're behind the crystal wall, the, the secret wall that leads to the crystal chambers, I guess they already knew where they were, right? Like, it wasn't like we told them there's a secret chamber. They were already back here, whoever they are. Oh, good. Now we're locked in. Great. This is going superb. Yip-ho-ho. -ho. What are those? Dolls? Well, we heard someone lost their dolls. I hate this fight. This fight kicked my butt on the original. And it's much harder in the DS version. <laughs> Alright, dolls. I probably didn't level Rose up or unequip Sid or move Kane into the front row the first time I got here. <laughs> you probably want Kiriga. Kiriga will make it a lot easier. We are Calcabrina. Adorable and terrible. Mindless cretins! What are you guys talking about? You're the ones with strings. I don't understand what you're talking about anymore. So we got some crazy dolls. Don't take this fight uh, easily. So if I remember correctly, the Kalka versions have more HP. The Brina versions are easy. Once you have killed three of one color, something fun happens. Or if you can time it to kill all of them at once, or at least the last purple and the last orange at the same time, um, you save yourself from another boss fight. I probably won't do that, because I figure you should see it. Uh, we're going to cover Rosa, though. And I think... I did not do very much damage. Oh good, they get counterattack. so Kick was absolutely the worst thing you could have done. Well, they only got one counterattack. At least not all six of them got a cover. Anyway, I think they only do physical attacks, so the Protect should help us out. Oh yeah! And if you want to do the timing, you probably shouldn't have uh, <laughs> counter-equipped. <laughs> We're gonna kill all the orange ones right away anyway. Yeah, that's right. Makes sense. So yeah, if you want to skip the second phase of the battle, um, you know, be better, be smarter than I am. Taking some damage. Yeah, the uh, the purple ones definitely have more HP. Maybe around 2,000 instead of like 800, 700. Anyway, we didn't do it successfully. You get a little bit of time. Maybe we can kill that last guy, but I doubt it. I think you're meant to get the second phase of the battle anyway, but point is you can skip it if you're quick. Maybe we'll get lucky. Ooh, critical! Wow! That was stupidly easy. I wasn't even really trying. Point is, if you wait, <laughs> instead of killing them off quickly, they combine into Kalkabrina, a giant doll. Whatever, we kicked their butt. That was, that was hilariously easy, actually. I'm sorry for saying this is a de deadly fight. Super easy. <laughs> you guys got trounced. 
Yeah, I know. The crystal that's right behind you. Heal? Oh, wait a second. Heal? Who's he? Lord Golbez. Well, he can't be down here. It's not like he can magically teleport around. Only Rosa can do that. Quickly, guys. Go grab the crystal. Oh, the music started. We know what that means. Look at him teleporting right in front of the crystals like that. He's as bad as Rosa teleporting around. Alright. It's terribly unfortunate that you lack the boon of Meteor. Alright. Eight crystals in total. Yeah, we figured that out. The key to reactivating the Tower of Babel. And going to the moon. Why would you go to the moon, though? Because the moon conceals power that transcends the limits of human comprehension. Where do you guys get this stuff? Okay. It's only possible because of you. Wow. Thanks, Gobez. What a jerk. Final gift. Don't worry, we'll get more. So, now we're fighting Golbez. Well, this worked well the last time. Good luck, team. Good luck, team. Let's, uh, dual cast. We're gonna go... Protect. And shell. Get the defenses up right away. And probably cover Rosa right off the bat. Because she can get one shot pretty easy here. Now that we'll be protected and shelled, luckily I got those on Kane before he jumps. Maybe we'll focus with Yang here. With Yang. Alright, Kane. Alright, Kane, do your job. Hopefully we can take this guy out. I wonder if I have uh, Libra. Yeah, let's, let's have a little scan on him. What else could we cast? We don't have uh, Haste yet. Haste is, like, really good. We just don't have it yet could try to slow him. I don't know if he's slowable. He is like sing pretty solid boss. I mean, you could try silence too. I don't know. Let's see if these things work. They probably won't. Oh! We did slow him. That's nice. But can we silence him? That would be amazing. No effect. Okay, he's immune to silence. See, that's what the uh, the Mega Sisters needed. They needed to be immune to silence. Oh, don't you laugh at me. I slowed you. We're doing good. We're protected. We've got Shell. <laughs> I've got more power. Just give me a minute. I actually could have a superpower. If I'd equipped Twin Cast to Cecil and Rosa already, we could have done possibly 9999 damage. Not that it would have mattered. Wait a second. What? Paralyze? You're not allowed to paralyze everybody. Your eyes should still be free. Um, guys, this isn't fair. You're not allowed to just auto-paralyze my entire team. Come forth my creature of shadow. Hey, you're not allowed to use summons. Only special people can summon. This is not going well at all. Now there's a dark dragon. Oh, that doesn't look good. Well, Yang's dead. Alright. Kane's dead. Well, this is this is really going well. I love one-shot killing attacks. No, not Rosa! She's the one that can resurrect people! Well, at least he left Cecil alive for last. <sighs> well, GG, everybody. Good game. Oh, wait a second. What's this? It's a holy dragon. It's actually a mist dragon, to be fair. Oh, and Gulbiz is weak, and it killed his dark dragon! in one shot. Someone else can summon them! Ha ha! Who could it be? Can you guys guess who it is? Oh, and it's someone who can cast Isuna, I think? Actually, I don't know how she would have cast that. That's interesting. Maybe it was an item. A remedy or something. Hey, Rydia! Welcome back! You're uh, looking a little bigger than before. Alright, so, first step. We need to get Rosa alive. Luckily, Cecil still has Protect and Shell, which is actually pretty good. Now, before we start doing damage to this guy, we're going to try to get uh, everybody healed up. Back in back in the action. Okay, Drain. Now, he's still covering Rosa, so we kept that. That's good. Uh, let's keep trying to bring people back. Dual 
Mythical Cast. We'll go one more raise and then a Kiriga. Try to get everyone healed up. If I do this correctly, we'll be all back in par. Now, just to pause for a second. Golbez is still slowed, so that was a good idea. And Cecil is still covering Rosa, plus has Protect and Shell on. Although we've managed to heal up everyone quite quickly, that's the good preparation for this battle. If you didn't prepare well, good luck to you. Now, you can see Rydia has some new spells. She's got Quake, she's got Bio, kind of leveled up. She's got Summons, but she has no more White Magic, um, which is kind of too bad. Let's use her Mum spell. Let's use Dragon here. And that kind of hurts. For now, let's just keep uh, trying to heal everybody up. And what I want is we need to re-protect and shell the party. Because Golbez has some nasty spells. And once dual cast is done, we'll jump with Actually no, we'll cry, I forgot about that. Could have cried, I probably could have defense downed Golbez before he uh, got to the second phase. I forgot about that. Alright, so everyone's gonna be relatively well protected. Maybe I should have healed more with Rosa, I don't know. Maybe I should have done protect or shell plus cura instead. Alright, let's do some summons. We haven't really done a lot of summons, so uh, I don't think I even used Chocobo when we had it. So we got uh, the Mist Dragon. This is her mum summon. Pretty cool. Plus we know Golbez is weak against... was weak against it. Now it heals him. That sucks. Oh yeah, he's got that... Uh, right, we should... Um... Yeah, it's not actually working. Well, let's just keep curing up people. One more focus. Um, now what should we do? We could blink. Blink you can't multi-target. But you can dual cast it to get it on two people per turn. Generally having it on Cecil while he's covering people is a good idea. Um, do we need any more healing? Let's just double check here. Well, Yang and Kane could use a bit of healing. But other than that, we're doing pretty good. Um... I think we're in a pretty good position, to be honest. Let's get uh, Blink on Cecil, and then we'll try to heal up uh, Yang a little bit more. I'm kind of annoyed that he was immune to holy damage there. Now Blink just makes you automatically dodge a couple attacks, so it's like 100% evasion for the next couple attacks. We've got Shiva, we've got all the elemental Ramu, Ifrit, Shiva, Titan, we've actually got there's your Earth spell, by the way. Um, well, the dragon did the most has the highest attack value, but it didn't do any damage. I don't know what he's currently weak against. Is the trouble? It doesn't show what he's absorbing, and he definitely absorbed the holy element. He may just absorb whatever the last damage type you did to him was. Also, I just want to check what she's got equipped. She's got a whip. There you go. Let's let's whip him. I'm sure that'll help. Lizera on the whole group. We might need to do some curing here. Well, thanks to uh, Shell, that should have done, I believe... Oh good, he completely absorbed wind that time. We're not doing very good at actually damaging this guy. Um, but yeah, thanks to Shell, I believe we take one third less damage from magic. Alright, he was weak against ice, so that did a ton of damage. That was really good. But I don't know what he's... How do we figure out what he's currently weak against? Hmm. I don't think... See, we've already cast Libra on him. I don't think it'll... Oh, there we go. You just have to keep casting Libra. Okay. He's currently weak to Lightning. Alright, so that means... Let's go with... Uh... Ramu. Maybe I didn't cast Libra on the first round like I thought I had. Also, we're all sapped, which is kind of annoying because we're constantly losing uh, HP. Yeah, that hurts. A little bit. Actually, it's not bad. It could be a lot worse. We're taking like 200 damage from his uh, group attack. This battle can be difficult, though. That's why I'm kind of uh, extra protecting it. We got Protect, we got Shell, we got Blink. I think the best way to do it is probably to just have Yang focus up three times and wait till he's um, 
weak against whatever Yang is weak against. Although, to be honest, that did a lot of damage. So I think every time he changes, you're gonna have to, uh... Well, he absorbed wind. Right, he's, he's absorbing everything but one other element, and we don't know what it is. Okay, that's fine. I just had to remember how this trick works. We cast Libra, then we figure out what he's weak against. And we'll summon something else. He's weak against Ice, which means either Shiva or we let Yang attack. Because Yang currently has uh, Ice Claws. So, Yang has focused once, or maybe even twice. So, uh, we might as well let him use it. I actually didn't do that much damage. Still, I think I've got his number. I figured out a, a good pattern here. Rosa Curas, Cecil Libras, and then Rydia or whoever does the big attack. Alright, let's see what we use this time. Lightning this time around. Alright, summon Ramu. Have we seen Ramu yet? We're getting quite low on MP with Rosa. What I should do is use like an Ether with somebody else. Like, uh, maybe, maybe Kane could be our Ether guy. Either that or we'll be about ready to kill this guy. I think now that I've remembered sort of how to, how to figure out his weakness, he shouldn't be that bad. 3,000 damage. Yeah, there we go. We got him. Kick your butt! Golbez, nice try, buddy. I didn't even need Blink. Seems like Shell is the main thing. So long. So, there you go. That's a battle that I have had difficulty with in the past, because he's a, he absorbs all elements but one. So, you just gotta keep casting Libra, that's the obvious answer, and, uh, you're good. Alright, so Rydia's back, and she's big. Woohoo! She's all grown up. How did that work? We killed him! Did we kill him? Game over? Do we win now? Hey, Rydia. I like her stunt theme. I don't know why she has green lipstick, to be honest. It's a bit strange. I know she likes green, obviously, but the lipstick's a bit strange. Yeah, what happened to you? Weren't you a little kid? Oh, Leviathan swallowed you, and then carried you to the land of Eidolons. That makes perfect sense. You got eaten by the giant sea monster. The Feymark. Okay. You lived among them. So yeah, she can't use white magic, even though she somehow cast Asuna, I think, on uh, Cecil. It's very strange. But she is definitely better at summoning, that is definitely true. Oh? Timey-wimey, wibbly-wobbly? So she just spent like 10 years in the Feymark for her, and it was like a few days for us. It's kind of weird. It's Rydia of Mist! Kane, don't you remember her? She's the little girl you wanted to murder. Yeah, that that one. <laughs> if it weren't for us, your mother... The wheels of a fate greater than us are all turning now. Alright. Gotta listen to the Queen of the Eidolons. Alright. Rydia, you're a good girl. Yay! More permanent party members that we're not going to lose, slash spoiler alert. And we just ignore Golbez. <laughs> Maybe we should have actually secured the crystal before leaving Golbez, who's notoriously tricky, alone with it. Why did you guys... I mean, I'm happy that Riddy is alive, but why did we walk away? <laughs> oh, you guys. Oh, you're living up to all the horrible video game tropes. Alright, forgive us, we were idiots. There was little any of us could have done other than walk over and pick it up after we kicked Golbit's butt. <sighs> okay, one crystal's left. Let's hope we can do better on the final one. Sealed cave, okay. How do you know what direction he left? He teleported. Okay, luckily it's, it's locked, so we can't get in. That's good. It's our fault the crystal was taken. Anything we can do to help? Of course. Opportune moment to turn the tables. You know, that makes some sense. While he's banging his head against a locked door, why don't we go to his home 
and steal back the other seven he, he, he took. That's a good idea. King Jiot, you've got some good strategy, my friend. Of course we'd march into the fortress. That's what we do. We just kicked Golbuz's butt. The tanks will create a diversion. Look, Jiot is the mastermind. He's the smartest NPC in this entire game so far. So he makes, he makes a distraction with his tanks. A small group infiltrates the castle and steals the crystals. That's perfect. That's genius. Come on, Rydia. It's a good idea. It would be dangerous, but, you know, this is what we do. But to risk nothing is to gain nothing, sage advice. Alright, everyone's in agreement then. We kind of have a democracy in this, uh, this party. So we have to go to the basement, we take a tunnel, we go to the tower. Woohoo! Oh, by the way, draw attacks. Yeah, I was looking for this. Go as soon as you've made ready. Alright, excellent. So, um, what are we going to do? Well, first, let's see what everyone has to think. So, you know, Cecil's happy that Rydia's alive. Rydia. Oh yeah, that's true. From her perspective, we were a dark knight last time. Now we're all paladin -y and holy and awesome. And she's, uh, she's all grown up and she's shown off those curves. Kane. Right. We're actually not going for that last crystal. We're trying to rescue. Trying to save the rest. Yeah, Rydia's grown up. How could you have aged so quickly? Yang is confused. That's fine. So yeah, we have to go to the basement. Good, good, good. We found your dolls! Yeah, it's kind of, kind of weird. Showers attention on Princess Luca and the late queen, so I guess her mom's dead. It's too bad. Dwarves are not beaten easily. That's the spirit. Lally ho. Lally ho to you as well. You're always welcome here if you decide to stay. Well, thanks. All right, so we have a couple augments to use. So the obvious combo here is to give Cecil, Cecil, sorry, draw attacks so that he can use his counter more often. So now he can really tank for the party. Furthermore, Fast Talker lets you cast magic quicker, and we're going to give that to Rydia. Now, Rosa could make decent use of it as well. But Rydia's spells tend to take longer. The big, super huge, powerful spells are really slow. So that will be useful for her. Other than that, um... I don't need to give anything else up right now. You could theoretically... If, if you were going to give bluff to anyone, you could give it to Rydia. She could spend one turn to double her intellect and then get a extra damaging spell the next turn. I don't know if I really care about it, though. It's better to just keep casting magic all the time. Do we have anything to equip to Rydia? Uh, we'll probably switch her from whips to rods for now. It gives her more intellect, which is what counts. Although, I mean, she does get 50 damage. She's got a pretty high attack power. She actually comes with pretty good gear. Better than the Sage's Surplus. Yeah, she comes with really good gear. Wowzers. Better than anything I've got. Alright, Rydia, you can hold on to that. I suppose we need to actually equip our abilities. So... How would we do this? Can I switch that? Yeah. Instead of cover, we can just use draw attacks. And I can't remember if it's passive or if you have to activate. I think it might be an active command. Instead of specifying one person to cover, this would cover the entire party, if I understand. We'll test it out. Oh, I forgot one more. Rydia, might as well equip. Seeing as she's got a free slot, equip fast talker right off the bat. I may get rid of her attack eventually, and equip something else, but uh, for now that'll work. Alright, good. So, let's explore the castle, and we'll finish up the episode like that. Can I open the crystal chamber again? I don't think I can. I was wondering if I could get back in there, but it's locked for good. Alright, first and foremost, we can go to the other areas of the castle that we weren't allowed in before. So this is the weapon and armor shop. Yay! Dwarven weapons are heavy as lead. Of course we're strong enough. Do you know who I am? Alright, so we've got a great bow. We've already got that. We could buy a flame sword. We've already got that. We could buy a flame lance. Maybe I should just test out that uh, 
<laughs> Drain Lance. I keep forgetting. Um, we don't have any blinding arrows, so we'll pick one of those up. We don't have a lot of money. Remember, if I hadn't sold all my... If I hadn't spent all my money, we could, uh, we could pick this up. Now, the Dwarven Axe is pretty good. It's very expensive. It has no element. It just has massive damage. And it's actually more accurate than a Flame Sword. Or a Flame Lance. Given that Kane currently has an 80% accuracy, that, you know, that might be worth picking up. We'll think about it. I think you can actually get a free Great Axe if you look around, or Dwarven Axe. Um, and then we've got more stuff. Alright, well... I should give my spare Flame Shield to Kane. Sage's Mitre, Sage's Surplus, Rune Armlet. Alright, we'll buy two Rune Armlets. Sage's Mitre we don't need. We're not going to buy the Flame Mail and the Flame Shield though, because we've already got one of, one of each. I forgot to re-equip it. Because I'd given um, Sid, I believe, the Flame Shield, I should have upgraded uh, Kane here. I forgot. One of these days he'll get better stuff. Right, that's right. Bloodlance drains all your uh, stats. That's why I never did it. I don't know how it balances out. Minus 10 to strength and speed versus a lot more damage plus steel is HP. I don't know. Um, then we need to equip. We've got flame mail here. Sorry, I'm just trying to remember what I bought. Yeah, we're buying rune armlet for... For Yang, gives him a little bit more defense. Lots more magic defense, which is good, because he tends to have a difficult time with magic damage. And then it's a straight upgrade for Rosa as well. Good deal. And we can change silencing to blinding. Depends on what you're fighting, which one's most effective. Um, blinding is good against physical enemies. Silencing is good against magic. You know. So we can still buy that axe. Maybe we could buy a little bit of armor too. But there's lots of treasure to be had in this in this uh, castle, so we're going to go treasure hunting. There's a Dwarven Axe! I hope you didn't just buy two. So, for instance, Cecil. How would you like a Dwarven Axe? So you can see the stats. Minus two speed, a little bit less intellect and spirit. But a lot more damage. I think there's only one free Dwarven Axe, so I might buy another one for uh, Kane. Because I'm a nice guy. It does do a ton of damage. Although, we'll be getting better um, weapons that drop from treasure chests in the next dungeon. But, uh, you know how it is. So, a lot of these pots have stuff in them, if I remember correctly. Or at least some of them do. I think. Pretty sure? Pots! Oh, I got something there. I don't even know what it was. Clicking too quickly. Well, we got one thing. Wow. Amazing! Just want to check the top left of this area before we go up further. Alright, well, maybe checking all the pots is a small waste of time. The Dwarven Axe was good. That was worth picking up at the very least. An ether, those are handy. Walk through the walls, I remember. Silver hourglass, it's not too bad. An elixir is always useful. Just through the wall again, yeah. And a power armlet, there we go, that's useful. I think we'll give that to uh, Yang. Now, if you've already had a giant's glove drop by Fluke, uh, you'll probably have something better. Now, it depends on your focus. Do you want defense or do you want attack? I shouldn't have bought the rune armlet. I should have just picked this up. A little bit less defense for plus five strength. I think it's fine. It turns Yang a little bit more into a glass cannon rather than a, uh, you know, average, more balanced build. But Yang is all about the DPS, so it's good. Now we'll head out this way. So we're on top of the castle. I think we can just walk over to the other side, the other tower. All clear in the east. We can actually go up the central a bit. Central part. We'll talk to these guys. 
Hmm, so apparently Golbez is withdrawn. Are there a lot of evil folk on the surface? I don't know, there's a like few. <laughs> I think there's just evil folk everywhere. It's not about up or down. It's not about left or right. It's not about color, or class, or anything else. It's just good and bad. Any secret treasure chests? Probably not, because it'd be on the map. Alright, what else have you got? I'm definitely fighting Golbez. Do you have some more pots for me? Alright. Come on, give me something good this time. Well, I could have had something good last time, to be fair. Okay, Bacchus Wine, that's Berserk. Probably got Bacchus, Bacchus Wine in the other one, too. I bet you that's all you get from the pots. <laughs> the, the, the dwarves have a lot of booze. But we do get four more treasure chests. High potion. All the way around. Walking, walking, walking all the way around. There we go. Elixirs. Very, very handy. Good emergency things. Another ether. Kind of stuck in the wall there. There we go. And a black belt key, alright, more extra armor for Yang. Alright, this one is just a straight upgrade. That gets his defense up. Now, you could maximize his defense there if you wanted. I think I'm okay with just going offensive. And can we finish going on? Yeah, there's, there's always a full circuit on these ones, if you can figure it out. Alright, well, we're almost done looking around this castle. We'll head down to the basement, see what's down there. So this was that other side from the inside that we couldn't, uh, the inside, har har har, from uh, the other side we couldn't get to. Blue Ankylo, horrible pun day. Alright, this is the supposed basement. Infirmary. Anybody resting up in here? Dwarves are tough as boulders. That's a good saying. I like that. Sleeping dwarf. Lally. You lalliers. Alright, this is the secret passageway. We'll head that way in a minute. Fat chocobo bl blasphemer. <laughs> He's known as the god's bird here. If you say so, great and noble servant of the heavens. <laughs> wow, I didn't remember that part. There, spare Gishal green. Good. And this will take us to the weapon shop from the other side. So, that's basically the entire dwarven castle. There's some more treasure down this way, though. Also, I believe there's a pot of healing. The best kind of pot. I'll be safe, thanks guys. Enormous cannons, alright. So beware of cannons on the Tower of Babel. Cottage? Cottage. Co I guess they're giving me a hint that I might need a cottage. <laughs> thanks, game. Alright, don't let their cute faces fool you. <laughs> I don't remember cute faces. Isn't there supposed to be a healing pod around here? Oh, one more room, alright. We are very brave. Uh-oh, Rubicont, the Autark of Flame. Oh no. He might be dangerous. Be bold, but if things look grim, run away and be bold another day. <laughs> sure. Alright, good luck, dwarves. I hope you can handle the, uh, the fire, seeing as the Tower of Babel has all those cannons. The tanks are going to have to so or the, yeah, the tanks will have to tank it. <laughs> Alright, here's the pot I was talking about. So you don't need to go to the inn anymore, you can just go here. This is a classic area to do some level grinding, because... Right here, you can head out to the overworld, fight some enemies, walk in there and get free healed up. I'm not going to worry about it right now. Anyway, that's all for today's episode. Um... 
Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and have a great day.